Welcome to IXL 8th grade math. This is H11, rate of change. So we all know where we are. So rate of change. You've got a handy formula here in the upper right, which basically says that the rate something is changing is simply a division problem. You find out how much the value changed over what period of time. We do this all the time with miles per hour, or uh, we might do it with you know, cents per minute, uh, if you're looking at some sort of stock, uh, penny stock or whatnot. But there's lots of things we can look at, at how value changes over time. And technically, a rate, we also could be something like uh, dollars per pound. That's a rate. So it's, in this case, it's rate of change. We're talking about time. So in this example, what we want to do is we want to find the change, how the ch value changed, and then over what period of time it changed. So we want to look here, we find a value. Uh, the, the school administrators worried about grade inflation. So we look at these straight-A students from the various years. So we're going to look at 1990 to 1993. So we've got these two values we're concerned about. So in this case, we have the rate being, well, how did the value change? Well, it ended at 7, and it started at 10. So we are actually looking at, so we are looking at the final value minus the initial value. And the reason is because now that will take into account whether it's gone up or down. Because notice 7 minus 10 is negative 3. So it shows we've, we've gone down. So that's why we start with the final value and subtract the initial value because that shows us the change. We do the same thing for the year. So in this case, we start with the final year minus the initial year. Let's pretend that says year. So our final year was 1993 minus 1990. In this case, it's three years. So minus one. So we have a rate of change of minus one student per year. So now notice, this is 7 minus 10 students. And this was 1993 minus 1990. So this, this is in years. So students per year. So again, this per is sort of like our division sign. Students per year. For every year, we went down one student. That is your basic rate of change. Let's do another example. Okay, so with this example, it's really the same process. We're looking month to month. Now notice we don't have a number over here, so that's going to be a little bit tricky. But we care about from March to May. So we're looking at these values. So we use our formula over here again and we say, okay, the rate is going to be the, so again, we're going to look at the V sub F mean. This is the final value. This is sort of a fancy way of writing the final value minus the initial value over, in this case, remember, we're concerned with time. So in this case, we have months, so we might say, okay, the final month minus the initial month. So again, now we might write this as a subscript, m sub f minus m sub i, meaning just the month. So final value was 10 minus 6. We don't need quite so much of this line. And then if we look at the months, well, Notice we have the words, so this is a simple little out of saying, oh, that's the third month, and May is the fifth month. So now we can actually subtract those. So again, we take the last minus the first, the final minus the initial. And we say, all right, 10 minus 6 is positive 4. And notice what happened. As time went on, it got, it increased. So that's why we have to do this final minus the initial. So we have the positive negative. And 5 minus 3 is 2. This then can reduce to 4 over 2 is simply 2, 2. So in this case, the rate of change was 
two minutes per month. And this is a positive number. It's gone up two minutes per month. So that is another example of a rate of change. You start with the final value, subtract the initial value, and that tells you the, the change in value, right? Right up here, change in value. And then you start with the final time period minus the initial time period, whether it's months or years or minutes, and you subtract that and then divide. And that will give you the rate. And again, we had on top we had minutes, right? The waiting time minutes and then the bottom was in months. So it's minutes per month. So again, this is like that division, minutes for every month.